Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We are, here are my glasses. <laughs> we are doing a another grocery haul now. Kids, you know? But we are gonna try by we, I mean all of us here, we should all be trying to use what we have, but I'm working on it. So this is gonna be a grocery haul from like three or four stores. But anyway, let's see what I got. So. I went to Aldi first. I'm gonna go to Aldi, the commissary, Sam's Club, and Target. So I picked up these cheddar Parmesan crisps. I, so, okay, you guys know, I don't really buy snack food very often, but the ingredients on it are pretty, pretty clean. And I figured Roman would like these. They might be salty, but we'll see. They also had a Parmesan, but I think Parmesan smells like feet and like, mm -mm, nope. I also got some coconut chips. These are the no sugar added ones. So uh, we'll see. I'm trying to stay away from things that have like a ton of added sugar and coconut of course is a fruit. So it naturally has sugar and for one ounce and there's three servings. Okay. Sugar is not bad. It's two grams. That's perfect. Then I also got some wild caught pink salmon. Originally when I placed my order for Sam's club, I ordered like a really, well, I was gonna say a long piece of fish, a long piece of salmon, and it was about $20 for like two and some change pounds, but it was fresh, which I didn't really care about that, but we're gonna see how this one goes. I really wish Aldi had like a pickup service, but I feel like that's how they get you in there and getting a ton of stuff. So I, am for the most part, buy my seafood frozen anyway. <laughs> you guys hear Roman in the back? I buy my seafood frozen anyway just because the price is so much better. This was like $6.98 for two pounds. So that's three something for two pounds, like per pound. That's that's great. So I'm going to let you guys know I'm definitely going to make a few recipes with this and we're going to see how this turns out. I'm going to defrost them. I know some say cook from frozen, but don't tell me what to do. <laughs> then I also got two things of, I usually get the 18 count, but they didn't have any. So Target drive up did two 12 count of eggs. These were 45 cents each on Instagram. I will like plug my Instagram here. You guys can see how I get my milk for 99 cents a gallon and my eggs for either 99 cents, <laughs> either 99 cents for an 18 count or whatever I just said for a 12 count. Then I also got 10 avocados. These are what 49 cents each and some of them are pretty ripe, but I throw these in the fridge. Last time I bought these was like three weeks ago and I just finished my last one and they last forever in the fridge, even though they're slightly ripe. Then I picked up another snack for Roman. These are the butternut squash crackers, the cinnamon brown sugar. So I don't like to give the kid, I mean, there's only one kid, which is Roman, but I try not to give him too much sugar. So this has four grams for 44 crackers and I'm pretty sure he'll only eat half of that. So this is great. Then I also picked up the same thing, but the sea salt version. We're gonna see how these are. I just figured more veggies and a snack form, that's great. Then cilantro, this is only 33 cents a bunch and I love the fact that like nobody's over here like caressing your cilantro. <laughs> that's why I love that it comes in a bag. Then from Sam's Club, I got mushrooms. This is yeah, a pound and a half. This was $3.98. They always have the best price, but actually Aldi had a better price, but I had like a gift card from Sam's Club. So I was trying to use that up. So mushrooms were great. Then I got some panko breadcrumbs. I recently just, I think when I made my zucchini fries, I finished using the, what I had left, but, and I was gonna make some cause I have bread in the freezer, but who really has the time? So got those. And then you guys know, I love sourdough bread. Like the hubs and I, even Roman loves sourdough, but we get our some Trader Joe's, but Trader Joe's is like an hour. It's like an hour and some change from us. I'm not going there just for bread. I mean, I'd probably get a cart full of stuff, but anyway, so I'm trying this one from Aldi. I, I didn't even look at the ingredients. I just got excited. Okay, you know what? Those ingredients are actually great. Okay, all right. It smells so good. I'm. I'll update you guys. If I've tried it by the time I'm editing this video, I'll let you guys know down below how that tastes. And then for, <laughs> I would have probably only spent like 
$20 in there, but I ended up spending almost $60, but these were on sale and I had to. So Stella Rosa by Stella Rosa is bomb. It's just a red wine, but it's sweet. All of Stella Rosa stuff is very sweet. It's not bitter. It's not tart. It's just, it's almost like juice. That's probably how I'm going to drink it. And then also the Stella Rosa. This one, I believe I've had it one time, but I don't really remember. So I guess I will let you guys know on that one. But this one I was really excited for. So apparently during like the spring and summer, they have a whole line of this. So this is the sweet peach one, but they usually have like a watermelon, a green apple, a grapefruit and something else. But I would say, I haven't tasted it yet, but this is probably gonna be a copycat of the Stella Rosa, their summer flavors that they have. I think they have them all year. But the peach by Stella Rosa is bomb. So hopefully this one is good because this was only $3.99 compared to, this is on sale for $8.95 instead of like $10 or something. But I did not have my quarter for all these. So we were holding it in a bag and oh, the struggle. But I just realized too, kind of disappointed. This one has a crack. It hasn't leaked, but I think it's honestly the way I wouldn't have bought it like this. I think I might've messed it up. But you know what? That just gives me an excuse to drink it all. <laughs> and then the Winking Owl one. I actually bought this a couple years ago. I'm going to tell you, do not get this for drinking. For drinking, this is like terrible. It's not good. But for cooking, it is really, really good. And that is it. I This is going to be like a two-part video. So I will see you guys in a couple days when I go to the commissary. Then from the commissary, we got quite a bit. So I got two things of... I'm gonna show you guys all of this and then I'm gonna show you guys the meal plan and what I have planned for the meals, <laughs> for all of this. So uh, two things of some top sirloin. I was actually pretty surprised at how cheap this was. I could have swore it was more expensive, but we'll see. And then I got the family pack of uh, bone-in pork chops because this is 177 a pound. The other one was two something. So this came out cheaper and this will last like for a couple of meals. Then I like to, you guys know, I like to cook my beans from dried just because they're cheaper. Um, but sometimes it's just nice to have these on hand when you don't have time. And then a thing of some plain whole milk yogurt. I tell you guys all the time, I get this. I get this every single time I go to the grocery store. This is the best one because it doesn't taste bitter and like nasty the way other whole milk plain, whole milk plain yogurts taste. Then one of my favorite healthy cereals, the Honey Munches of Oats with almonds. Then I also picked up some rice noodles, which are ponset noodles, and I want to make ponset. I have to, I'm going to have to talk to one of our family friends and try to find like our favorite recipe. And then some Johnsonville, you guys know, obsessed with them, the ground hot Italian sausage. Then I picked up a fling steak for a meal. This is, I feel like the smallest piece I, well, this is definitely the smallest piece they had, but I feel like this is the smallest pack I've ever seen. Usually they make them so that they're like $10 each. Then I got three, I thought I put four, but three sweet potatoes, a thing of some romaine lettuce. Oh, man, I, I bought one from Walmart like a couple of months ago and I literally just finished it a couple of days ago and it was like some organic one. I don't even think I picked organic when I did like my online pickup order, but it worked and it lasted months. So hopefully this one lasts as long. And then I got some cilantro. I got cilantro from Aldi, but by the time you guys are seeing this video, it's two days later and it's already gone. Then uh, four lemons, two jalapenos, and what is this? Five green bell peppers. Green bell peppers are always the cheapest unless there is like another color on sale, but green bell peppers are always the cheapest. Then four limes, a thing of green onions, so I'm gonna show you guys this. These are my little plants here. My basil died because it snowed and it just killed it. But if you save the little tip of this and just put it in a tiny bit of dirt, literally you could put it in like just a crack in the street and it just grows just like this. So yeah, make sure to do that with your green onions. Then I got some green grapes finally. I think because like winter's, in my opinion, winter is almost over. The grapes are like nice and firm. I hate green grapes or any grapes that are like really hard. I like them to be, no, I don't like them when they're mushy. I like them to be hard. And this is actually the first time I've seen Ocean Spray do grapes. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, then just two containers of some apple juice. Then moving along over here, I got two gallons of some whole milk, some Top Care. This is like the commissary brand of some Tylenol. 
Then Roman's favorite snack are some olives. Then I got this thing of oyster sauce. This is not, this is the brand I usually get, but I don't know what's different about this one because the one I get is usually purple, but it was only a dollar and some change, so not that bad. Then I just got two things of some whole wheat tortillas and eggs. That's what those are. Then the last thing, a thing of Colby cheese, a cucumber, I almost call it a zucchini, and some carrots. Okay, now I can show you guys the meal plan. So for the meal plan, this is what I'm gonna be making. Now, whenever like we have leftovers, we usually eat them for lunch. We don't like to eat them for dinner because it's just kind of annoying eating the same thing over and over. Yeah. So everything you guys are seeing is what I bought for these meals. Granted, I probably only needed like one or two things from each recipe and the majority of the stuff I have. So we're basically gonna do a salmon, a flank steak, another piece of salmon, some beef, did I? Yeah, okay, I bought the beef. This coconut lime chicken, this is actually the first recipe I ever posted on Instagram. And I think this one got like over five, six, 7,000 likes or something. And you guys were obsessed and that's how a lot of you guys found me. So definitely have to make that. Some tuna cakes, some Cajun pasta. I think, yeah, I can make my own Cajun spice. I was gonna say, I think I forgot that. Air fryer, fiesta, fiesta. Fajita chimichangas, we're actually gonna do that tonight. And then chicken marsala. So Popeye's chicken sandwich, this was so good. You guys saw that one too. And then sweet potato pizza, not at all what you would think. It is so good. How many times am I gonna keep doing that? Sausage with mashed potatoes. And now that I think of it, I was supposed to buy sausage links, but we're gonna make it work. And then sweet chili and mustard salmon, enchilada rice bowl and piri piri chicken. Where, as you can see, I got tired of having chicken all the time. Now, granted, some of these, probably like half of them are chicken, but they just taste so different. So, there we go.